Hoops TV, uh, presented by Barstool Sports. Got my man Goonie over here. Unfortunately, fucking, he's the winner. I'm st still on here. I wish it would have been nice to, to be on the thing. But thoughts, uh, thoughts on the game? Thoughts on your squad? Um, you to be honest, I didn't really look at it more than a tune-up, to tell you the truth. Um, it was good to see, obviously, Kai Havertz getting on the score sheet, picking up from where he left off. Um, Timo Werner finishing wasn't all there, but um, obviously he got the assist for the first goal. Um, I was very much impressed by Hakim Ziyech, actually. Um, I loved how he was pressing um, very high up top and he was actually winning the ball, particularly in the first half as well. And um, one of the balls that he played on the turn, absolutely beautiful. I can't remember who he played it to, but it was a clear-cut opportunity that put us forward into the goal. So it was really nice to see some form from Hakim Ziyech. Um, our youth as well. Um, it was a pleasant surprise to see men like Clark Solta, um, Trevor Chalabar, um, Dujon Sterling as well, who I thought done very well. And um, I heard at the beginning, well, somewhat at the transfer window that Thomas Tuchel was happy with um, giving Dujon Sterling a chance and I can see why in this game. And well, you're so preparation wise, where do you, where do you feel? Do you feel happy with where you're at pre season? Uh, yeah, again, I don't, I, I don't try and get too, I don't look into pre season too much because, again, it was a game of two halves for Chelsea because the first, the, the first half we filmed, I fielded a completely different team to the second. And um, what I really wanted to see was just some kind of structural discipline, particularly at the back. So we actually know and we can see the philosophy is actually improving at Chelsea Football Club. Um, it was difficult to see today because we didn't play our first team. A lot of our players yeah. have been rested because of the Euros, etc., etc. But today, I think I think I saw enough to say I was happy for today's performance for what it was. Transfer business. Uh, still early days in the window, man. Still early days. Um, looks like Kunde is going to be coming over. Um, I'm hearing I'm hearing the wage is seventy seven thousand a week euros, which I think is a steal. That's brilliant. Um, obviously, the big one is is whether Haaland is coming or not because there's not really been much news about it recently. But um, what I will say is, is it's a, like I keep saying, it's a big deal. You can't, this, this is over 150 million euros we're talking about. You can't do this from one day to another. Some kind of negotiation has to be spoken about. Terms have to be agreed for a deal like this. And it could take weeks. And then there's also strategy. You know, uh, Man City in the same situation. It may be a case where these teams that want to make the bigger signings want to wait towards the end of the transfer window to put pressure on the other teams. Cool. Uh, what are you, uh, what's it called? The, the, the chances why it's in the game. You guys had a lot of chances that you didn't take. How do you, how do you feel about that? Yeah, yeah. So, again, it's, it's a we concern. Gave, gave I mean, it's a concern because <laughs> it's a concern on both sides. But obviously, speaking for Chelsea, Tammy Abraham, I feel... Obviously, he got the second goal, but I feel he could have had two or three. His finishing this preseason has been way below par. Um, as well, Timo Werner, I'm still worried about him in terms of his finishing. In terms of his goal contribution, I'm sure every Chelsea fan, including myself, we love what he's doing. But we just want him to be more clinical in front, in front of goal. So that really showed today that we need Haaland in between um, Kai Havertz and Timo Werner because that would be an absolute cheat code. I reckon if we did have a striker like that, no disrespect, it could have been 5-6-1 yeah, today. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Yeah, you guys look decent, man. You didn't take your chances, but you look decent. Chelsea are the winners. Unfortunately, we're out.